Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight to take part in the special grand opening and virtual open house of Fremont's new Housing Navigation Center. We are faced with unprecedented challenges, both regionally and nationally. But the opening of this center marks a major milestone in the city's endeavor to impact the growing homelessness crisis in our community. While there are no easy solutions to alleviate homelessness and many complexities to the underlying cause, our new HNC will provide a clean, safe, calm, and flexible environment that allows unsheltered community members to rebuild their lives and focus on finding stable, permanent housing. The center will help transition vulnerable homeless residents into more stable housing with our ultimate goal to end their homelessness once and for all. In February 2019, the results of the Alameda County point in time count and survey showed a 27% increase in those experiencing homelessness with, in Fremont with as many as 608 individuals living on the streets in tents or vehicles. More recent data indicates a revolving door that for each person successfully exiting homelessness in our county, three new people become homeless. During the current public health pandemic, many households in Fremont have found themselves struggling economically with housing stability. Community members have lost jobs and small local businesses have been forced to close. Many are relying on the current eviction moratorium to keep roofs over their families' heads. It is unfortunately likely that one of the long-term effects of the coronavirus pandemic will be that our unsheltered population will continue to grow as economic issues are among the most critical factors contributing to homelessness. Non-economic factors also play a role in homelessness, such as psychological or physical disabilities, learning disorders, post-traumatic stress, medical conditions, drug and alcohol dependence, past abuse, or some combination of these. While a strong support system can prevent any of these factors from sending someone into homelessness, when relationships end, homelessness begins. With this in mind, the Housing Navigation Center will be operating under the expertise of Bay Area Community Services, which has extensive experience in operating housing navigation centers in Berkeley and Hayward, and a substantial track record of getting participants placed into permanent housing. We are pleased to have a strong partner like BAX. Also, the Fremont Housing Navigation Center will follow the Housing First policy, a non-judgmental approach to eliminate as many barriers as reasonable to bring people inside and serve them appropriately for their individual needs. Participants may enter with their partners, their belongings, and even their fur family pets. It's been a humbling journey since the city council passed the shelter crisis resolution in April 2019. The Fremont community engaged in a critical dialogue involving three public meetings, as well as a survey to determine site selection. The conversation was not an easy one. In January of this year, the council reaffirmed our commitment to find innovative solutions to help mitigate our unhoused community by designating homelessness as one of our top three priorities for this year. In addition to the Navigation Center, the city has been using the current Islander Motel on Maori to house some of our homeless population 
as the developer prepares for its conversion to rental apartments for low income households. And we launched our Clean Start, a mobile hygiene unit that serves the Tri-Cities and recently expanded our mobile evaluation team, better known as MET, M-E-T, a partnership between the Fremont Police Department and behavioral health providers from the city's Human Services Department and Washington Hospital. Currently, the city is studying an overnight parking program and recently hired the city's first homeless services manager to spearhead the city's collaborative effort. Today, as we unveil the Housing Navigation Center adjacent to the city hall, we celebrate a community effort to change people's lives for the better. We couldn't have done this without the tremendous support from our community. More than $31,000 was raised in direct support of the construction, which was used for landscaping, benches, tables, shade features, and the beautiful artwork that you see behind me for the center. We also received an outpouring of donations to welcome the participants, including new bedding, sheets, towels, pillows, clothing, and amenities. I would like to give a heartfelt thanks to our local businesses, individuals, families, youth groups, the city's employee groups, organizations such as CFEA, service clubs, faith organizations, and local nonprofits. You help make this program a reality. Our new center will be operating with COVID-19 protocols, taking special care to enforce face coverings, and social physical distancing. In addition, the facility will initially be only occupied with 25 residents, and we look forward to expanding to 45 when it's safe to do so. Although we can't swing open the center's doors wide open this evening, for all of you to visit, in a few minutes, you will get to see photographs of our journey from community engagement and participation through construction and project completion. You will also be able to participate in a small virtually guided tour of the facility led by Jamie Almanza, the Executive Director of Bay Area Community Services. I thank you all for joining us this evening for this historical event. It is now my pleasure to introduce our city manager, Mark Denay. I'm so excited that we are here today, even if it has to be virtually, to celebrate the launch of the Temporary Housing Navigation Center, a tangible step forward in the city of Fremont's fight to reduce homelessness. The city of Fremont, along with the entire Bay Area and the state of California, has seen a rapid growth in homelessness over the past four years. In response, the Fremont City Council has prioritized new resources to address this serious issue in ways that are sustainable in providing a lasting impact and helping to find permanent living situations for our unsheltered community. As the mayor noted, an extremely critical component of this initiative was community outreach that staff undertook last summer. This was an unprecedented initiative and the largest civic engagement effort in the city's history. City staff hosted several community workshops with hundreds of Fremont residents and businesses, where we received input that ultimately helped shape the result we are seeing today. Last September, exactly a year ago, and frankly not too long ago, the feedback from the community workshops was shared with the City Council along with a detailed analysis for potential sites, resulting in the City Council selecting this site right behind Fremont City Hall. The city is committed to the success of this temporary housing navigation center. Initially, it will house 25 unsheltered adults for up to six months and eventually more when the coronavirus pandemic is abated. The center will provide a safe, stable environment that allows participants to focus on rebuilding their lives 
while they find permanent housing. We are confident in this model and are pleased with the success we have seen at the City of Berkeley's Housing Navigation Center, on which our center is based. <clears throat> Finally, it takes a team to execute a city project on this scale, especially in the middle of a pandemic. I personally wanna thank all the city employees in the city manager's office, community development, community services, finance, the fire department, human services, the city attorney's office, the police department and public works for all their collective efforts in enabling this project to come to fruition. I'd also like to thank our community for their continued support, encouragement, and for contributions, both in kind and financially, to the success of this significant project. With that, we would now like to share a short photo montage that illustrates the immense amount of work that went into this project from start to finish.
Hello, my name is Jamie Almanza and I'm the Executive Director of Bay Area Community Services and in partnership with the City of Fremont, we are here on a walking tour today to share in the beautiful facility that we are about to open in partnership with the Tri-Cities for people who are unhoused and need help recovering as they make their way to housing. The first step we're going to do is a safety check during COVID, we have to make sure that every single person entering our facility is wearing a mask and keeping social distance and taking our temperature to make sure that we're safe at all times. So that was simple, thank you very much. So as we enter the door, you will already see just how beautiful and serene the makeup of the area is. This took a lot of thoughtful time and persistence to make sure that the community we developed in partnership was really one where someone that has been living outside for a long period of time in most cases would, would be interested and want to come in. And so there's a lot of thought into creating a space that upholds the dignity of all people coming into the center. So you will see right away that the center is grounded in a lot of greenery, a lot of holistic materials. You'll hear a little bit later about a very special mural, mural that was developed. And the layout, as you'll see, starts with the warm greeting where our staff that are staffed 24 seven at this facility and center can help anybody coming into the center. So you'll take a walk up through here to see the staff space. So as you walk into the staff office, it is really important to see just how beautiful and simple the staffing area is. The main part about the center is that we have 24 seven staff who are really here to help all individuals with their basic needs all the way through their housing, employment and other social needs. So now we are going to see the sleeping bungalows. There are two separate sleeping bungalows in the entire facility. And the main framework here is that each individual has their own space and that they can enjoy the amenities at all times. I'm going to introduce you to Harjeet, our program manager, who oversees the entire Fremont Housing Navigation Center, so he can share a little bit about the residential component of the center. Hi, I'm Harjeet. I'm the program manager at the Fremont Navigation Center. And now we'll have you take a look at our wonderful sleeping bungalow. This is where the clients will be residing overnight and throughout the daytime. And um, what's really great about this area is that unlike traditional shelters, clients have the opportunity to go in and out um, at their will. And also we will be providing each client with a wonderful bed with a nice brand new bedding. And also they all get a lockbox where they can keep their important belongings and um, important documents as well, which makes it safe for them and always have um, access to those at their will. The city constructed the facility to serve 45 individuals at one time, but because of COVID-19, we're starting the facility at 25 as a capacity. And you may have noticed that each bed skips over so that we have appropriate social distancing in the sleeping bungalows. And one of the most beautiful parts of this site is this beautiful mural by Cameron Moberg that talks about just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. And that embodies the philosophy of care of backs, which is a whatever it takes philosophy, where we wrap around each individual in our care and help them move from being unhoused and homeless to permanent housing on the other side of this center. So you'll see the mural itself really embodies our philosophy and the care we will provide for the participants at the center. And now you'll see our community room, which was designed specially for a real serene place where individuals can come as much or as little as they please in and out to enjoy the amenities and really just have a peaceful place to spend time on their own. Hi, I'm Renee Tripp, the Operations Manager for Bay Area Community Services. And I'm here to talk about the lovely quilts that have been donated from the Peacemakers Quilting Guild. There are all sorts of colorful handmade quilts um, that you will see both here and in the sleeping bungalows. And they have been donated to go with participants as they come into the facility. And then they'll take them with them as they journey on to their uh, new spots. Hi, I'm Jonathan, our Director of Housing Strategy here at BAX, uh, here to show you a little bit about the function and purpose of our community room for our participants. Uh, this is really a space that we intend to use 
really to be a humanizing space that folks would use the same way they would use their own office or living room to meet, to congregate together, to get and enjoy meals and coffee. Also, we have a computer set up that folks can use that don't have their own devices to do job search and any other kinds of functions. We also use it often, especially during these times, to meet with clients in a safely distanced space as needed, um, just really to, to provide a way where they can live and productively look at the next steps for themselves. Hi, my name is Astrid. I am the program supervisor for the IPS employment program here at BACS. IPS stands for Individual Placement Services. Um, what we do, what we're going to be providing here at the Fremont Navigation Center is uh, supportive employment, which means our employment specialists will be connecting folks who live here to competitive employment. Uh, we will be providing services um, supporting with uh, making resumes, doing mock interviews, um, going to interviews with participants, uh, providing on-job training, um, and this will provide uh, support for them to be permanently placed in a position where they would be able to pay for their own rent, so this will help them become stably housed. Hi, I'm Giovanni Iglesias, Chief Program Officer at Bay Area Community Services, and I'm excited to show you the restrooms. As you can see, we have a very spacious environment. We actually worked closely with the city to ensure that we had ample room and increase the size of the facility so that folks felt comfortable um, moving and operating in the facility. As you can see, we have three enclosed showers to ensure privacy. One of the things that we are proud about is the philosophy that folks are, have their own agency to take care of themselves and are free to use the showers and the restrooms at their leisure. The facilities are open 24 seven, so folks can certainly use the restrooms or take a shower when they feel like they, that's needed. Over here, we do have our ADA accessible shower, ensuring again that we're able to serve everyone. I'm really excited to show you another one of our offerings at the Fremont Navigation Center. This is our laundry room and much like the restrooms, uh, these facilities are open 24-7 and are available for folks to use uh, when they feel like it's needed. Uh, and while there are only two units here, there will be a total of three sets uh, for folks to be able to use. One of the most important components of the Fremont Housing Navigation Center is that people can come in as they are. And that means that they can come in with their partners, their possessions, and their pets. Many times individuals want to come inside after living on the streets, but they're unable to leave their partners, their possessions, and their pets, and therefore are not able to come inside. So you'll see here the ample storage we've created for individuals as they're living at the Housing Navigation Center so that they don't have to worry about leaving their possessions on the streets. And as we end our walking tour, it is a perfect opportunity to end with this beautiful mural by the same artist. And it really speaks to the hope and the dignity and the community that put this center together. And it's a nice opportunity to say thank you because it took every city department in the city of Fremont. It took our county partners and it took a number of dedicated volunteers and supporters to really make this village come together as one community that will be filled with love and hope for the individuals coming inside to the Fremont Housing Navigation Center. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Pastor Jeff Spencer, Senior Pastor at Niles Discovery Church, and I join you in celebrating the opening of the Housing Navigation Center, thanks to the hard work of many people throughout the Tri-Cities. This is just one tool among many that we need to address homelessness and to make sure that all of our siblings throughout our community have shelter. We need to remember as well that the opposite of fear is not courage. The opposite of fear is love. And so let's continue to work together to find ways to embody love so that everyone has the shelter they deserve. Thanks very much. Hi, I'm Julie Moore, the current chair of the City of Fremont's Human Relations Commission. For numerous years, our commission has been advocating for a variety of solutions to combat our housing crisis. 
We feel that the Housing Navigation Center is a vital piece of the city's multi-pronged approach to helping our unhoused neighbors in need. I am thankful to so many, to the city council who approved moving forward with the center, to the city staff who've worked tirelessly to make it a reality, to those that have created this amazing space, and to the community members who've stepped up by donating much needed supplies. I also wanna thank those that will be working with the clients on their journeys, and the members of our communities that will be supporting the Housing Navigation Center moving forward. Congratulations on opening the doors to the center and therefore opening doors to housing in a positive future for many in our community. Hi, I'm Kimberly Peterson, Chief of Police for the Fremont Police Department. The Fremont Police Department has supported the development of the Housing Navigation Center from the start. We recognize that all those who live in Fremont are part of our community fabric, regardless of whether you're housed or not. We also recognize that homelessness is an incredibly complex issue. We welcome the Housing Navigation Center as a focused approach to helping some of the most vulnerable members of our community overcome these challenges and find permanent and stable housing. We consider ourselves a partner in this effort and look forward to continue supporting the function and success of this greatly needed effort. Thank you and congratulations on the opening of the Fremont Housing Navigation Center. Hi, I'm Lisa Stambaugh. On behalf of Fremont for Everyone, we want to congratulate you on the grand opening of the Housing Navigation Center. Fremont for Everyone now has over 600 active members who have spent the last year advocating, supporting, donating, and volunteering to help make the Navigation Center a reality for our unhoused neighbors. My name is Hayes Scher, and to our future residents, we want to send you our continued support. The strong message that you are not, we're not going anywhere, and your neighbors will always have your back. We wish you all the best as you transition back into stable housing. Hello, this is David Bonacorsi. I was proud to be on the Fremont Council in July 2018 when we authorized staff to implement an HNC in Fremont. Today is a great day for our unhoused neighbors in Fremont. Today is a great day for Fremont. Congratulations. 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 Hi, my name is Scott Haggerty, Alameda County Supervisor representing District 1 in the great city of Fremont. I want to take this opportunity to thank and congratulate the Mayor and the City Council on coming to resolution on the Navigation Center that we celebrate today. This is a very politically charged issue. It was a very tough decision for the City Council, and I know that through, through leadership, you were able to get this done. To the homeless people, I want to say congratulations to you too because you will have a home that will help you develop the tools to move on to how permanent housing in the future while you're getting wraparound services at the Navigation Center. Congratulations and enjoy. Congratulations City of Fremont on the opening of your Housing Navigation Center. I'm Jessica Shimon and I'm honored to share well wishes from everyone home. Today, the City of Fremont is taking a bold step to ensure that people experiencing homelessness have a place to get help, whatever their circumstances or needs. Everyone home hopes that the Fremont Housing Navigation Center will be a place where many homeless households will find support, immediate safety, and a bridge to permanent housing. We at Everyone Home resolve to continue the fight for more permanent housing resources for homeless households in Alameda County. Congratulations on reaching this milestone, City of Fremont, and thank you. Congratulations to the City of Fremont for opening the Housing Navigation Center. This is a major milestone for the community. I'd like to say thank you to all of the city's staff whose dedication and creativity has allowed the HNC to open under a condensed timeline and as a beautiful facility in the downtown for the unhoused community to start rebuilding their lives. I'd also like to say thank you to all of the community members who have supported this project throughout the past year. Your words of encouragement and donations have been instrumental in the agency's success. Congratulations again, and I look forward to reading about the agency's success in the months and years to come. Hi, I'm Aaron Eckhouse. I'm the Regional Organizing Director with California Yimby. Yes, in my backyard. We believe that California is for everyone and so excited to be celebrating the opening of the Housing Navigation Center in Fremont today because it's a step forward for Fremont and all of California toward making that vision a reality. I'm so excited for all the residents of the HNC who are going to benefit from uh, the services available there. I'm so excited for Fremont, which is going to have this wonderful resource in their backyard. And I'm so happy and proud to have been able to play a part 
along with so many people from Fremont for Everyone, Niles Discovery Church, and numerous people across Fremont in making this a reality. Congratulations to Fremont. Congratulations to everyone who's going to benefit from this. Hi, my name is Richard Valle. I'm Alameda County Supervisor. Good afternoon. I'm here today to join you in the celebration of the Fremont Housing Navigation Center. My hat's off to you, the City Council, and the Mayor for your leadership because you stood up for the people who are suffering because of homelessness, and you continue to stand up for those who are most in need right now. So let's continue to do the good things, the right things, for the people in our community who are at their very best when we pull with them.